Welcome back, everybody. This Sunday is Cinco de Mayo, and to help us celebrate with our famous chicken enchiladas, we got the cheers going already. Is one of the foremost experts in Mexican cuisine, our amiga, Chef Susan Feniger. See what I did there? Oh, yeah, very good. Yes. Very good. Cinco de Mayo, Deb, Larissa, Ken, this is going to be good, everybody. Yes, oh, I'm now. starting. <laughs> this recipe, you were, we were inspired for this recipe by a recent trip to Mexico. Right? By Tell recent, me. like 25 years ago. A, tr a trip <laughs> to Mexico by about 25 years no. ago. Tell me about it. Well, honestly, like, you know, all over, even in this country, there was enchiladas. But in Mexico, you didn't find many. Okay. Except that they did do an enchilada, but it was flat. They just served it oh. flat and stacked. So we tried to do that when we first opened Border Grill, and everyone was like, that's not an enchilada. It's like, right. oh. okay, well, that is an enchilada. That's a real, that's yeah. a real authentic, yeah, I guess, yeah? Okay. But it also wasn't a big creamy sauce. It was really made with chilies, and that's what we're, I'm going to show you today. Okay, and we'll fantastic. add a tiny bit of cream. Okay. <laughs> Just right. because. Just because. Now, but the only thing I have to say is uh -oh. that, you know, you look a little geek. That's not the way you tie your apron I, in your I, kitchen. You know, what, what are you talking about here? What should, what, am I supposed yeah, to come around, around the front? Around the front, and put oh your towel God. in there. Okay. See, look, what because. Oh, no, wait. wait. That, oh, no. Yeah, it all yeah. makes sense. Cameron had a little bow in the back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, and see, there. Then Hold you, on, here's a, here's a towel. Look yeah, at that one. There then we you go. can yeah. put it right in there, there when your go. pan yeah. is burning. There we go. There there go. Go. Wow. I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. Okay. I'm ready to go. So, I feel better. With Susan. Okay. Poblano pepper. Poblano pepper. When it gets roasted and dry, not, not roasted, when it gets dried, it becomes an ancho chili. Oh. Wow. Poblano is an ancho when it's dry. I did dry. not know that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the same chili. Right? Okay. Oh. So this is what we're going to use for the basis for our sauce. Beautiful. And this is what we're going to use for the basis for the garnish. So we actually use it twice. One is roasted yeah. and one is dried and in the sauce. Okay. Yeah. And that's what we're going to start with the sauce, correct? Okay, here you just take this chili. If yep. you get any dried chili, when you go to work with it, you take the seeds out. Mm -hmm. All right, and that'll take some of the uh, the bite out of it, some of the heat out of yeah, it. Right? Exactly, yeah, exactly, because okay. so much of the heat's in there. And then we soak it in hot water, like we've done here. See how it softens yeah, up? Yeah, it really does. And you can toast them first on the stove, just to soften them up a little bit. And those go in here into a blender. Yep, all Not those with the water. With a the little water. bit of the water. A little bit. A little of the bit. Water. And so then what we I'll may do add is more. I'll move them in. And maybe like a this. little bit more. I think it may almost take all the water. Oh, okay. Well, then why don't I just wow. do a little bit of something mm -hmm. like that? There you go. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna add it. Guess what? I'm gonna use my towel here. Guess where it is? Oh. Right there. That's right. Right. Exactly. You'll never lose it. Sugar, onion, garlic, cumin, vinegar, dried oregano. Pour it all in. Okay. So that's and, for the sauce. And we're going to blend this all up together here. Did you and add then, the sugar? And then I'm going to add the sugar. I wanted to add the sugar last. <laughs> sugar. Okay, sugar. Okay. Puree okay. that really well, okay? That's a delicious sauce. Perfect. Perfect. So Isn't it nice? Yeah. Okay. That gets that pureed. Go. Okay, good. Once it's pureed. Once it's pureed, it goes into the pan and it cooks. Just You want to cook it because you're cooking the chili, the oil out of the chili, the oh, flavor, okay. which is what we have here. Okay, okay? very good. We've got that here. I put some of it in here yep. ahead. Split now, this half. is going to be what we're going to dip the tortilla into to soften uh, it. But first, but first, I took this chili earlier. Well, I think you weren't awake yet. Yes, well, that's probably not true, but yeah. Roasted, in the, roasted them, peeled them, and here's what uh -oh. I've got. Okay, so just so everybody knows, now we're working on the filling of the enchilada. So that was the sauce, now the filling. We roasted uh, these the poblanos, poblano peppers, yes. And then with my fingertips bent under, my thumb behind with a rocking motion. I'm I so really happy that like that. you didn't no. ask me to do that part. Wow. And then we mix it in there with the chicken? We do, we mix it in there. Do you put any olive oil or salt or anything on it when you roast it? Oh. You don't put anything on it. You can put pump. it right under the broiler, you can drop it in a deep fryer if you had one at home. You can put it on top of the burner with the gas. Mm -hmm. Now yes. you've got a tortilla. You that just drop it in hot oil for one minute, right? Okay. Really? One, then, not, that was less than one minute. Yeah, not even a minute, because all you want to do is get it a little bit soft. It makes the, the flavor of the corn come out. Then you're going to take that tortilla that you've yes. done. You dip it in and here. This is where oh you God, get all those good. flavors. And I'll let you do it right on the. That looks fine. I'm gonna let you do it right here. Okay. So take good. this. Is that sauce. Okay. I a special name. Is it like you know, like mole sauce? It's an it? ancho chili. Ancho it's chili like sauce. a mole, but it, not really, because it doesn't have all the seeds in it. Okay. So you take your mixture Look at this, in there. I did this already. Okay. Roll it's that. It's always rolling that beautiful. 
enchilada. Yeah, now you could do it right in the pan if you didn't want it all over your board and you didn't want <laughs> That's it. That's okay. Could you tell us Just about like a, that. a smoking good time with Susan Feniger at yeah. this year's Vegas Uncorked? Yes, I will tell you. I just want to show you this. I'm going to put this in the oven, put a little bit more sauce on there. There you go. So you put some of the, the sauce that we, we uh, divided up on there. Into the long, oven. Oven what time and for how long? Now it, all you're doing is like maybe 15 minutes at the most at about 375. There Bring that go. out right here. Okay, we're going to move this over here because we made a mess wow. of our board. I know we did. And when I say we, I sort of mean Susan. Uh -huh, I sort of <laughs> meant you. <laughs> now, you could take your sauce that yeah. you did that, add a tiny bit of heavy cream if you want. Okay. And then pour this over. So you put a little of the sauce on before the oven, and then, and then as it comes wow. out, you yeah, put it back a little on. bit over. A little bit of cream. A little and, bit of cream. You, these are enchiladas right? sans right. cheese, sans queso. No cheese. Oh, yeah. no yeah. cheese. I, didn't I, know didn't cheese. That. I know, amazing. I knew something was missing that. Why no cheese? That, but you don't it's need just it. traditional no cheese. Oh, you really? could, you could. This you might could feel fill so it light. Very light. I feel like you don't miss it. Now look, this is just. Poblanos, corn, and mushroom goes over the top. Now, this is a dish that we're serving not only here, but at Border Grill Las Vegas during Vegas Uncorked, which and is in May. Good time with you. Yeah. We're doing so smoking good. good time on the patio with me. I know. And, at and Mandalay Bay. I mean, it is going to be is? a smoking good time anytime you're here. Yeah, barbecue. Let me just ask you this for those yeah. cheese lovers out there: is what, what if you did use some cheese? What would you recommend? Manchego Panela Cotija, oh. or in other words, you could use Munster, Jack, Cheddar, whatever cheese you want. I like the Mexican cheeses, mm -hmm. though. Manchego. And we're going to, you know what, this, we're at Cinco de Mayo, like at Border Grill downtown, we're doing an amazing Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so much fun, like totally blast margaritas, DJ on the patio, brunch what? all weekend. We're there. Brunch oh, all yeah. weekend. Cinco de Mayo with yeah. Susan. I mean, wouldn't that be well, the best time ever? I don't, did they not tell you you're going to be working? <laughs> Yeah, and, now, so and then I'm jumping on a plane and going to Vegas and Cork the next week in Vegas for the whole weekend. I'm doing three big events there. Maybe uh, we'll come visit you, Susan. Yes, come it's all visit. Smoking good time. <laughs> smoking good house. time. And by the way, yeah. can we just appreciate my apron one more time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really good. And your dirty, dirty towel. Dirty yeah. towel.